The mission is the 2021 Nogi Pans. The objective is to win the 2021 Nogi Pans. Last year we got second place. We missed by three first, okay? Especially you blue belts and purple belts. You have to step up, make things happen. That's the mission. Let's go. Marshall. I don't know, dude. I really don't fucking know. He's probably fucking combing his hair somewhere in the woods and there's some trailers gonna, or some shit, but he's probably, probably gonna shoot. What the fuck are you doing, dude? I ran out of polish. I'm done with these now, though. Oh, hey. Just got a couple of her getting dull. <laughs> I'll just send him here since I'm running behind. You don't mind, dude. No, no, we already fucking showed you this light, man. It was almost harder to carry those than it was to win them all. <laughs> what are you gonna show? Uh, well, everybody wants to wrestle. All right. And um, most people aren't as good as you, so I'm gonna show them a couple things. Uh, it's very nice. Of you. Yeah, some problems you might have. <laughs> uh, I think one of the best ways to get better at wrestling is to make less mistakes. Leave the belts of harm next time. And guys, everyone wants to be good at wrestling. Secretly. <laughs> so, everyone wants to be good at wrestling. Uh, um, all jiu jitsu guys are afraid to say, but the truth of the matter is, a lot of wrestling comes from not making mistakes. And so I think, uh, I think there's like some, just some stuff that we can add, just like right at the beginning, <clears throat> that it's not really like technique, it's not always going at the guy, but it's gonna give you some confidence and let you sort of have some exchanges. So first of all, obviously you wanna get in a good stance, keep your knees bent and everything, but I think the, a lot of mistakes in wrestling come from the hands and feet. So. For myself, I don't want to make mistakes with my hands. Uh, I don't want them to be easy for Scratchy to grab because I'm just being too loose and he can grab, like, he can just control me. Uh, I don't want to reach too high for Scratchy because he can pop and level change. Um, just little mistakes like that. What you should be doing is a rule I tell myself is you keep your hands where you can taste them, okay? You want your hands here. Because if they're here, I can kind of see everywhere I need to go. I'm not looking at his eyes, I'm looking at his chest. His eye, their eyes can lie to you, their heart can't. So if they're if their chest moves over here, then you, you, you won't bite on the fake unless you need to. Um, they can do whatever with their head or eyes. They can, they can put you out of position just because they, they might be moving more. Right here. So um, if you're right in close, if you're going to be reaching towards the guy, keep your elbows down. So if you're going to reach up, don't have your elbows like this. It's an easy pop and he can go. If I'm going to reach towards Spatchy, if I want to do any type of hand fighting, I need to keep my elbows down. My elbows are down if I get on a head or something. All I'm doing is pulling my elbow back to me and there's good pulls from me. Like you can really, you can, you can make people step really good. Uh, um, if Scratchy's gonna shoot on me and I keep my hands here where I can taste them, I can hit his shoulders to stop him, same thing. I can be working, like ready to sprawl, go ahead. If you stop from here, guys, these are called meat hooks. These are really good to use. So if Scratchy comes into me, he shoots and I stop him, my hands, I can roll them quickly up into the meat hooks, and then I can keep his momentum going, but I'll get out of his way. So if Scratchy shoot in, he shoots in, I stop him here, and then I catch the meat hooks, and I can, now I can start moving him. So he can shoot, but I can score. So again like this, I stop him with my hands, and I can pull him. The same thing can go this way. If you, you stop him with the shoulders, you can switch immediately to the head, and you do what's called a steering wheel just to direct him somewhere else. And if nothing else, you can stop from the, you can like just negate the takedown, keep him from getting to you. Another thing, if your hands are right here closer, you can taste them, because if Scratchy shoots on me, I might be able to just keep him from getting to me altogether. So he'll shoot, what I'm trying to do is, I want to jam him. If sometimes I don't have enough time to sprawl, so I'm gonna turn into a wall, and you try to lift. You can make it uncomfortable on one more, it doesn't matter. Step back, don't let him get legs, okay? Um, if they are getting past your hands and they're picking up a leg, you have to make sure you don't stand still, okay? Once I stand still on Spatchy, he's gonna start doing stuff to me. He's gonna, it's the first time he's ever taken me down, just telling you. <laughs> Once you stand still, they can crack you down, they can wrap up your whole back, they can maybe just shoot in for a double, it doesn't matter. But if you're standing still, you're his chew toy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get moving, okay? When I'm moving him, I gotta do something with my hands 
I like to frame and stuff, uh, frame and redirect. So if I'm here on Scratchy, I can frame with the forearm. Turn. I can frame with the forearm. I can frame on the shoulder. It doesn't matter, but I'm not standing still. Okay? Uh, are you trying to push your knee away from my chest? You can kind of pick. So if he's got your leg up here, if I go for a, let's say I have a wizard on Scratchy. If I have a wizard on Scratchy, and he has my knee secured really good, I can't go this way. There's no way out for me. I have to go through Scratchy, so you'll do the same thing with the underhook. The underhook the face. On this side, you have your wizard, and uh, most people try to pull like their foot up or something like that. You actually lift these up and step like behind him. I'm gonna try to go over here to Scratchy, here. Now look, when I have this, this is good now. So if you know, if you got any of that stuff, you're in a good position here too. Uh, if Scratchy's got my leg up and I kept moving, I can get his head and shoulders off of me. This is really good. You can kind of just focus on this just to get away. If, you can, if he's all the way up here, you have problems. He can move my spine, he can wrap me up. If I can get him here, now I can turn my knee, maybe kick out. I can pop his head to the other side. There's, there's, you have some options. Whatever you do, don't stand still. The whole time you're doing this, you should be able to hop around, okay? Now, uh, the back one, before he gets my leg right from here, if, he's, if I know I don't have time to sprawl, he's gonna pick it up. He can move his head to the other side, here. Now his single's in a bad spot. That's the same as is if he just picks up the single, I'm moving, I frame on him. I like to move his head to this side so that I can start either sitting in the corner or dragging him in from here, okay? Okay, I'll just bust through him real quick. Spatchy will take like three or four, four or five shots, and I'm just gonna show you how he can't touch this. <laughs> yeah. Let's say he picks up the single, <laughs> Guys, they, they all work, okay? You gotta remember some rules, okay? Keep them in front of you. Keep your hands here where you can taste them. You're not reaching out, you're not doing too much, where you're giving him opportunities, okay? Sometimes you just gotta be patient. So again, tight, scratchy shoes, I stop. Scratchy shoes again, I stop. Scratchy shoes, give a single from there. Doesn't matter, I stopped it. Guys, I can't promise that you can get away from Spatchy, but I promise this shit will work on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I should get points. <laughs> that was good. Uh, that felt way better. That was got, really good. Who's got the better mullet? <laughs> Is his even a mullet anymore? <laughs> Hold on. Well, we should let God decide. <laughs> <laughs> What does he decide? You ain't got no shadow. Look, you can hang way more belts and mullets off of this than you could off of that. <laughs> that ain't no. <laughs> no points for those five minutes. I think it was good. Hmm? Mine's definitely better. <laughs> I'm gonna take him down now. <laughs> you guys said you're fans. Whoa! <laughs> All right, guys, that's uh, an easy 101. Uh, staying safe, feel comfortable, don't make mistakes on the feet. Uh, King of the Trailer Park will be back next week. I have some more uh, wrestling vids, and we'll make sure you guys are getting some twos next time. I gotta get these belts out of here. Gotta take care of my gym equipment.